Hot Lamode, who did a recap of the Streamy's award show red carpet fits. And I want to see Hello what he everybody. had to say. My name is Luke Marr, and this is Hot Lamode. And today on Hot Lamode, we are coming to you with a reaction to the 2022 Streamy Awards. Social media people do not know how to behave on a red carpet. Usually, we just don't have the wherewithal. The streamies is just so unserious fashion-wise that it gives me severe anxiety. And I think that if the social media people came out and really did it, some people might be like, oh my god, the streamies is wait relevant. And also, I would have been able to find Getty images that didn't have the watermark on them. So, and yet here I stand and here I stay to talk about the outfits. Let's just get right into it. First up, we have Iraq. I don't know who they are and I apologize. And that's gonna be a majority of this video, I would say. They're wearing the brand Namias. It's a tie-dye jacket with the, the Namias. I didn't like this fit. Namias embroidered in on the pocket area that's not a pocket. It's a jacket, black and white tie-dye running up and down. The tie-dye sort of runs in a vertical sort of stance. And then there's a matching pair of pants. I think that the colors of the tie-dye look different between the two pieces. One looks like a dark black and the other one looks a little bit lighter up top. You know, the pants. Oh, okay, I didn't like that Next one. Let's see what Anthony, Anthony Padilla, Padilla of Smosh and he is at least trying. I can appreciate that. It's a Henley t-shirt, which I mean like, I don't know if we need to have this conversation. I was hoping we didn't, but like Henley t-shirts, no. And most definitely Agreed. I think Henley t-shirts are out. For sure. They've been out. Like, they had an era. What was it, like, 2014? They had an era. And, and it's gone. Not hopefully forgotten, but not forgotten. No, it's been dead, on though. on the red carpet. The little handkerchief tie. Cool. Okay, I get it. The jacket with black and red. It looks like it's some sort of, like, pony hair. And the way that it reflects. I think it's cool. I think it's different. I think it's intriguing and interesting. The black pants. Spencer's kind of vibe going on here. But, like, that's that's somebody's aesthetic. And I'm okay with that. And the boots. Listen, it's... That is boot. Anthony's it's, vibe, it's a, though. You know, it's a little snakeskin looking boot. And, like, I'm, I'm okay with that, too. Those are definitely I would suspect those are, uh, I mean, those are probably YSLs. They're fire. Respect to that. I'm going to skip, uh, I'm going to skip some of these. Like, I don't really care about these fits, uh, especially if I don't know them. Um, this is a good fit. What the fuck is this? Oh God. Okay. Definitely skipping that. Um, but I love Prada loafers. Well. And then some sort of like dusty pink blazer. It's just really basic. Didn't really try that hard. I think Charlie D'Amelio had a good fit. This is fully together. I, I don't know. But it's there's a lot of cutouts on a black sort okay, of. Okay, never mind. It doesn't look that good here. I didn't really get to con. see it. It's uninteresting. It's I guess it fits well, but like besides that, better, but that's just anyway. A lot of people talk shit about my fit. Flawed in, in concept. Polka dot, well, handkerchief, black shoes. Are those boots? A lot of people made fun of my fit on the internet, right? When it first came out. So I want to see, I want to see what this, uh, what this YouTube fashion guy had to say. What the fuck? YouTube. Pants for the most. Like fashion experience. Next up we have Hassan Piker. I don't know who the rest of these men are. I've looked at them long enough. Just for those few seconds, we're going to forget that they exist. Um, let's focus on Hassan. I don't know if Hassan was like, I am tragically in mourning of Alessandra Michele leaving Gucci. And so that's why he went for this full Gucci-ified look. But I'm obsessed. The double-breasted blazer in red. Love. Let's go! I wish maybe it was buttoned up. Sure. But like unbuttoned, I'm kind of okay with it. The light blue shirt. Okay. But the ribbon tie. Obsessed. Happy with. Gorgeous. Stunning, love. They don't even sell that. Gucci apparently will, if they give it, which is kind of ironic, if they give it to uh, the people that are working in retail, they no longer allow people to buy it. So um, when the Gucci collaboration was done with Harry Styles, they basically took off the ribbon tie, which you could buy back in the day, uh, and, and, uh, they took it off of circulation. So I had to literally get it off the dude who sold me the fit. I was like, bro, listen, this is a big ass fucking fit. You know, uh, I am going to need to get that ribbon tie. And he was like, sure. I'll throw the tie in. Um, which I thought was, you know, cause it was, it was a look that definitely put it all together. Now I know what my weaknesses are here. Okay. 
Um, pants, they're going to say, are too low. Okay? They're going to say the pants are too low. My belt wasn't holding it up well enough. Okay? It's supposed to be a little bit higher. Um, therefore, you know, the, the pants would look a little bit better. It's obviously not going to... Um, it's not for all of you. It's, it's a lot of you didn't understand what the look was supposed to be. It's supposed to be flared. That's the whole point. Um, uh, I should have ironed this, which I didn't. I kind of haphazardly put this together last second. Um, so the ribbon tie actually could have even looked better. I should have fucking literally cut the tag off, but I didn't want to fuck this thing up. So I, I had a stylist uh, when I was going on stage come up to me and was like, should we cut this uh, you know, tag off? I was like, thank God. Lee. The flare pants in the navy blue. I don't love, but I don't hate. They fit with the Alessandro Michele aesthetic of Gucci, and I get it. Do I wish that maybe they flared a little bit better? Sure, but besides that, okay. And then the black shoe. He's wearing a little black Gucci, I think it's like the Duke. No, I was wearing the, the YSL buckle, uh, the, the classic YSL buckle boots, which are awesome. And I paired it with another Western uh, I paired it with a Western YSL, uh, uh, like, slim uh, belt buckle as well. Slipper. I love it. This is a great Alessandro Michele early fall 2015. Did you know about Gucci's creative director leaving the brand? Yes, I did. Um, but, but, like, this is not deliberate. I just, it was the, <laughs> guys, I went to a bunch of places. It was just the only one that fit me. That's it. The main reason why the main reason why I went with this fit is because it was the only one that fit me without like dramatic amounts of tailoring. That's it. I think a lot of people don't understand that. Like I went to so many different fucking stores. First of all, nothing on YSL fits. YSL does not make a single fucking piece of clothing uh, other than obviously their shoes that actually fits my size. They just don't have it. I don't know why they don't have any fucking big boy fashion. Uh, no big boy shit whatsoever. Uh, Louis Vuitton also very difficult. Uh, they do have the sizes, but I think some of their designs are fucking dog water. Um, but uh, ultimately, Gucci was the only one out of all the other ones. Like, I'm not gonna fucking wear Burberry, ew, because um, I'm not a fucking Chavier, which is why I uh, went with this one. Menswear reference moment, or like maybe spring 2016, and I'm obsessed. They think it's great. I think it's funny. I think it's like one of the best dress moments on the carpet. In these moments, I say, listen, he knows what he's doing. Other times, I'm concerned. But here, I am not. I am comfortable. I'm happy. Get fucked, everybody who talks shit about the fit. You don't understand it. The flared pants are not for you, okay? Just say you don't understand fashion and fucking move on, bitch. There you go. Someone gave me my goddamn props I deserve. It's bullshit, dude. You're saying it's still fucking ass. Shut the fuck up. And it was not one guy. This is not one dude. Frugal, Frugal hit me up in the DMs and was like, I loved your fucking fit. Don't listen to the haters. I'm sorry. Fashion is very subjective. Fashion is very arbitrary. There are obviously some rules that you can abide by, but maybe you can even break them as long as it looks good. But the reality is that a lot of people wearing fucking crusty ass champion shorts are talking shit on the goddamn internet because they just don't like me. That's it.